the primary objectives of long term marketing strategies are to define and then gain control of those market niches that optimize the company's resources and skills. Such sales tactics as volume pricing, incentive returns, same day delivery, customer training and barter management serve to tools to implement strategies aimed at marketing dominance. Although narrowly focused promotions can assist sales personnel in spreading the word to a limited number of potential customers, a sustainable advertising campaign broadcasts the advantages of a company's products to a large enough market segment to make sales promotions effective. Whether the objective is to attract new customers to a market to capture market share from competitors or simply to obtain market intelligence through customer feedback from sales promotions and advertising campaign directed to selected classes of customers can in many cases create customer demand faster and with less cash outlay than any other technique. Moreover, selective advertising may be the only feasible way to test new markets prior to entry. In customer markets, clip out return coupons continue to be one of the most effective techniques for attracting new to the market customers. When such coupons appear in print media, or are received through direct mail solicitations, pot potential customers have a no obligation, no cost opportunity to learn more about the product or service. A high number of returns indicates good potential for making a solid impact on the market. A poor return from an uh, attractive display may mean either that uh, the content of the advertisement was uh, confusing or that the market lacked interest in the advertised product. Clip out coupons can also be a very cost effective method for enticing customers away from competitors. The coupon should be designed to highlight product qualities that are absent from a competitor's line. It should also indicate discreetly or overtly that it would be to the customer's benefit to learn more about the product. Comparisons of price, delivery and quality with competing products are commonly used to make the point. Several methods of getting the clip out coupons to the market are available. Direct mailings with the with the return postcards, newspaper and magazine advertisements with a cutout form, television spot commercials with phone number, trade show and convention booths with mail back handouts and customer registration are well effective approaches. The choice depends on specific circumstances, not the least of which is cost. The most appropriate method of distributing coupons depend on the type of product, the size of the market, the degree and type of competitive advertising and the role that customer requests for information play in a company's overall marketing strategy. This brings us to the most critical decision point in developing a cost effective advertising campaign. What specific short and long term objectives do you, do you expect to realize from the campaign? It is easy to become disillusioned 
when incremental sales do not immediately materialize. We blame the advertising agency for managing an ineffective campaign because competitors seem to be winning the marketplace war. Or when business cycles turn down, we stop all advertising since this is such an easy expense to eliminate. In the end, such reactions only diminish otherwise effective marketing strategies. Most advertising campaigns fail to deliver the expected results for one of the three reasons. They are, number one, the expected results were not concisely defined ahead of time. Number two, the time frame within which results could be experienced was too short. Or, number three, the advertisement was inappropriately presented. It seems obvious that spending money on advertising without clearly defined objectives makes little sense. Furthermore, expected results must be quantified. How many responses should come, to come in from a clip-out Copen campaign? How much should sales increase? How much should market share improve? And improvements in sales volume or market share cannot be achieved in the short run. Regardless of how well the advertising campaign is structured and managed. One week, one month or even six months may be the too short a period to realize concrete benefits. Sustainable growth strategies take time to gel and advertising aimed at short-term results does little to meet such objectives. Don't fall for a uh, pitch that the more you spend on advertising, the greater the number of customers that will be enticed away from competitors. Over the long run, advertising cannot by itself create customer loyalty. Customers must realize continued long-term benefit from switching brands or companies. If they don't, any increase in market share will be short-lived. And strategically, advertising expenditures directed toward increasing a company's share of the market should be viewed as a long-term investment. Permanent market share improvements are impossible to measure over the short term and in any event to achieve cost effectiveness the specific advertising program must correlate with the strategic objectives in a given market. It is often difficult to judge how much you, uh, to spend on advertising and what type of media to use. More than one business owner has followed the advice of an uh, advertising agency that is all right if you can afford it. But experience has shown that uh, left to others, uh, left to left to their own devices, advertising agencies, large and small, believe that the more companies spend and the greater the variety of media the more effective the campaign. Except for highly competitive, glossy, big ticket items such as uh, automobiles, this hardly ever works. The basic rule for making advertising cost effective is to develop a competitive, comprehensive program that meets a company's specific needs, but no more. In other words, use only as much advertising as is needed to sustain control of existing markets or to capture new market niches. Log on to my website www.asifjme.com. I also ask you to visit my blog at asifjme.wordpress.com. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.